tell me watch out for Diablo. First one. She got him taking like Kodak. Don't I'm kill. I'm the leader, I go at it. Alright guys, we all hit rough patches, can land shots, luck isn't on our side in matches, dealing with some whack team or just struggling to climb that face it ladder. Today I'm spilling the beans on the easiest way to hit level 10 in 2024. Back in CSGO I was rocking a solid 3000 elo, but hey, we all face hurdles, even when I first dove in CS2 I lost a hefty 600 elo just getting into the game, plus lack the motivation to claw it back. Before we kick off the video, I need you to smash that like button, hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out any dope content, cause 98% of you watching my videos without subscribing. And don't bail out early, stick around till the end for some real tips that will help you to hit that level 10 on face it. Before I dive into the best and easiest way to hit level 10 in 2024, I wanna talk about keeping a clear head. There is this certain breed of folks who love to blame everyone but themselves for their failures. And yeah, I used to be one of those players, you know? Like I'd be pulling a 25 AVG and it's always the team's fault, a bunch of clueless fools who can't contribute anything. Sure, you might run into some real duds for teammates who mess up your games and I used to wonder why I kept landing in those situations. But over time I realized it doesn't matter what kind of team you have, it's all about you and your approach to the game. I get it, after 10 straight losses, your desire, motivation and energy to keep playing can vanish, and it's tempting to blame yourself. But remember, after every dark patch comes the light. Ultimately, it doesn't matter how many games you won or lost, you gotta focus solely on how you played and what you learned from the match. I went into more detail on this topic in one of my past videos, you can check it out with the tip up there in the corner. Now when you're stuck with a downright awful team, focus solely on yourself. Try pulling off solo moves, coordinating the team and strategizing for rounds. And if the voice chat is filled with arguments and insults, well you always have that mute button. You might argue that muting that means missing out and potential info, but in my opinion it's better to concentrate on yourself and try to win the game solo than to rely on possible info from teammates who might suddenly start playing properly. So here we smoothly transition into the mental state. Many folks are banking on quick results, like winning 10 matches in a row to snag a plus 250 elo boost. But then they lose one match, catch the tilt bug and dive into the next 9 matches with that same vibe. This is the mistake most of you make. Instead of thinking that you maintain a 60% win rate over 100 matches, you'll consistently gain 250 elo. Let me break it down. You should aim to win every match, but understand that losses will happen. Strive to play every game at 100% regardless of the outcome. It took me about 1000 matches to climb to 3000 ELO in solo queue. Now I realize I couldn't done it much faster with the right approach. Now onto the easy way to reach that desirable 10th level. Firstly, you need to dedicate a minimum of 4 hours a day to the game. No exceptions, maybe just one day of a week. Every time you log in, don't jump straight into the match, warm up and practice calmly. Have a clear training plan and understand which aspects of the game you need to improve. I've got two videos on my channel about training, specifically on shooting and movement. You can check them out with the tip or the link in the video description. As for watching demos, don't sweat it if you're not doing it well, you will realize it when it's time to start. When you're in the match, stay focused and analyze your mistakes. For instance, if you died in a certain situation, think about how you could have handled it differently to contribute more to the round and avoid repeating the same mistake. Secondly, always communicate information in the voice chat, even the smallest details. Think about it, when you're given such information, it's much easier to orient yourself on the map and make decisions about what to do next. On face it, you often encounter people who don't give any information at all and it falls on you and your other teammates to fill that gap. Most of the time, these people have a dead inside or Akashi avatar of the anime Kuroko's basketball. They usually have an inflated sense of self-esteem and fragile mental state. But think about it, conflicts during matches have always been and will always be there. Telling them about their mistake won't make them play better. Instead, they will play even worse and tell themselves and potentially you too. From my own experience, in such cases, it's better to say nice try and encourage them, because chances of success don't decrease and at the very least it can even increase. Take professional players games on Face It. Have you ever seen them waste their nerves and time trying to prove to a teammate that they are wrong or playing poorly? 
I don't think so, because they launch matches to practice their solo game and gain experience. That's what you should do too. The most effective way to boost your profile is to play only one position on each map. For example, on Mirage stick to A side, and on Inferno focus solely on mid, and so on. Choose one position where you know all the tricks. Don't roam around the map aimlessly. On the attack side, think about the actions you can take each round. For instance, on Mirage you can lurk in B apps and hunt for open frags while your teammates spread out their opponents across the map. Understand that experience and understanding what to do in different situations comes with time. To speed up this process, watch various tips on YouTube or watch demos of professional players who play the same position as you. Also, analyze your opponents during the match, remember their nicknames, positions and habits. This little trick will help you read the situation in the game. And now let's quickly recap everything mentioned above. Train your aim and shooting, because as the legend Zeus said back in 2010, no tactics will help your opponent if you shoot them in the head first. Set proper goals and analyze your mistakes. Learn tricks and grenades. They will help you improve your game and add variety to it. And most importantly, learn to rest, sleep and eat properly. These points are often ignored, but are the foundation of your mental state. After all, they say a healthy body equals a healthy mind. These were all the main tips to hit level 10 on Face It. If you follow everything mentioned above, you will reach your goal in one or two months. If you like this video, share your thoughts in the comments. Maybe you have something to add or want to share your experience. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Help me reach my first thousand subscribers. That's it for now. We'll say goodbye and see you in the next video.